yeah hello good evening students so today i am going to discuss about the proton proton cycle and carbon nitrogen cycle so here before that uh, uh, let me explain what is a stellar energy so let us see here stellar energy so what is the stellar energy here the stellar energy is nothing but the energy which is released uh, inside the sun and the stars energy released inside the sun and the stars is called as the stellar energy <coughs> and here whatever the energy it is released in the sun and the stars it is due to the nuclear fusion process now what is the nuclear fusion process nuclear fusion here so nuclear fusion means uh, combining two lighter nuclei let us consider this is a lighter nuclei plus another lighter nuclei combining two lighter nuclei to form a, a heavy nuclei by releasing some amount of energy <coughs> so this is the process nuclear fusion process now here stellar energy means energy which is released inside the sun and the stars now what are the processes which are taking place in the inside the sun and the stars so here the assumption is that there are two major process which can be done in the sun and the stars the first one is the a carbon nitrogen cycle and the second one is the proton proton cycle so here <coughs> i will explain how to uh, memorize this one it is simple easy method so in the carbon cycle here we have to take six steps remember the six steps here 1 2 this one is 3 4 5 and 6 so total 6 steps so near the step 2 and the step 5 i am marking and i am marking an arrow mark here so there is some importance about this two steps here so here we are going to write some chemical equations so here four protons we have to note so in the first step one proton leave the second step third step one proton fourth step one proton fifth step also leave this one so wherever we have taken the arrows do not write the proton so in the sixth step also i am writing a proton All right so here these are the chemical equations so we have to equate this one so left hand side and right hand side will get So I am taking some arrow mark in the total six steps. <coughs> so wherever we have taken the marking the arrow marks here to the right side, write down a proton. Proton, positron. Sorry, positron. Positron is denoted by plus one is zero. So this is the one positron. and in the fifth step also mark this one as the plus 1 e0 so this is what you have to remember total six steps in these six, uh, six steps here second step and fifth step we are marking with an arrow mark and we have to note four protons leaving the second step and the fifth step so on the right side of the second step and fifth step so i am taking the positrons plus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 0 as a two positrons here now since it is a carbon nitrogen cycle it starts with a carbon atom and uh, ends with a carbon atom so i am writing here plus carbon atom 6c12 <coughs> it is a starting carbon atom and uh, ends with the carbon atom also 6c12 
Now we have to equate on the left hand side and right hand side equations, chemical equations. We have to balance these equations here. So here atomic number if you take here on the left side 6 plus 1 7. And what will be the element here? Nitrogen will be the element. Now the mass number, mass number is 12 plus 1 30. <coughs> now note this uh, nitrogen atom in the next step means 7 and 13 now equate this and balance this one here the atomic number is 7 already we have taken here 1 means the remaining will be the 6 we have to balance the atomic number left hand side is 7 right hand is 6 plus 1 7 now 6 means carbon now balance the mass number also here 0 means we have to get here 13 <coughs> so in the next step plus 6c 13 so whatever the atoms you are getting on the right side here we have to take it to the next step now balance this equation atomic number 6 plus 1 means 7 7 means nitrogen and the mass number is 13 plus 1 14 Take this nitrogen atom to the next step plus so 7 and 14 now balance this one 7 plus 1 8 8 means oxygen mass number 14 plus 1 15 so take this one into the next step 8 to 15 now balance this one so right hand side is 8, left hand side, uh, sorry, right hand side we have taken 1 and the left hand side is 8. So already 1 gone means here, 8 minus 1, 7. 7 means we will get nitrogen again. So 15, here the mass number balance, we have to balance 15. So taking this one into the next step, plus 7 and 15. So here 7 plus 1 means 8, already we have taken here on the atomic number balancing the atomic number 7 plus 1 8 left hand side right hand side is 6 means here <coughs> we have to get 2 so 2 2 means nothing but helium now balance the mass number 15 plus 1 16 16 minus 12 4 so these are the balanced equations in every step some amount of energy it is released so i am marking this one as the q1 q2 q3 q4 q so q4 q5 and this one is the q6 so now we have to write the net equation net result after combining all these steps here what is the net result So here we have seen some common atoms on either side of the balanced equations here. So cancel all these common atoms. So 7 and 13, 7 and 13 is cancelled. 6 C 12, 6 C 12, 7 and 14, 7 and 14, 8 over 15, 8 over 15, 7 and 15, 7 and 15. And here 6 C 12 and this is the 6 C 12. <coughs> So final one, 1 proton, 2 proton, 3 proton, 4 proton. In this all these 6 steps, 4 protons fuse combined together to form um, <coughs> helium atom plus stable one helium plus next one here how many positrons are there one and two positrons are there two positrons plus combining all these energies here we'll get uh, some amount of energy let us consider it as a q energy so here four protons are fused to form the helium atom a heavy nucleus comparing with the proton by releasing two positrons and some amount of energy and here the amount of energy will be q it is equal to approximately i am writing here 25.71 
million electron volt and this process will continue in sun and stars so in each of these uh, steps four protons are fused and this amount of energy it is released so this is about the carbon nitrogen cycle so in this way you have to remember right proton proton strike so proton proton cycle so in this proton proton cycle we have to remember the three steps carbon nitrogen cycle six steps and proton proton cycle three steps so one two and three and remember the final result what to get in carbon nitrogen cycle we have to get the same result here also means same result means in carbon nitrogen cycle we got uh, four protons which are fused together to form a heavy helium nucleus so here also in the final result we have to get the four protons so in each step i am writing four protons here and uh, in the second step i am taking an anno mark right okay 1h1 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 so in the first step i am adding one more proton because finally we have to get four protons <coughs> four protons so chemical equations so therefore arrow mark on the right side where we mark the second step here so leave that one and in the first step take one positron plus one is zero and in the third step take one another positron plus one e zero plus one indicates a positron if you are writing this one minus it indicates the electron remember that one plus one is zero is a positron now here balance the equation same as it is atomic number one plus one two so already we get here one so therefore here one one plus one two here also two so one means nothing but <coughs> h one plus one two means here two so one h two it is nothing but deuteron so this deuteron is adding in the next step plus one h now balance this one. One plus one means two. Two means nothing but helium. Mass number two plus one is three. So writing in the next step, taking this one into the next step, plus two H E three. Now balance this one. Two plus one three, no? Here already we are writing one. So two plus one three minus one means two. So two means we'll get helium and mass number is three plus one four plus zero four. So these are only three steps. So here I am writing the net result. What will be the net result? After adding all these three steps. So common atoms present on the either side of the equation. I am going to cancel this. Cancel these atoms. Now here one, two, three, four. So four protons fuse together to give one helium atom plus how many positrons here two positrons two positrons and in each step some amount of energy it is released q1 i am denoting this one as a q1 q2 q3 and in the final step some amount of q energy it is released and here in proton proton cycle the final energy which is released it is approximately 26.71 million electron volt and remember here whatever I am cancelling here do these cancellations in your mind in exam don't cancel on the board don't cancel on the paper right so thank you all